Iron Man is perhaps the most prolific superhero engineer there is. Literally at the core of Tony Stark sits one of the most impressive engineering feats of the entire comic book and movie series, a reactor core. While it may not exist in reality yet, let's look at some of the engineering needed to make it happen. Iron Man's reactor is essentially a fusion reactor that harnesses energy by removing electrons from hydrogen atoms. This removal of electrons creates an ion plasma, which is the ultimate source of energy. What makes the miniature reactor both so incredible as well as breathtaking is twofold. One, the energy source is in all practical senses endless. Sustained fusion reactions of hydrogen atoms on a small scale is enough to power a block of homes for their sustainable lifetime. Two, the technology is actually a possibility, and MIT believes that a reactor in similar style to Iron Man, perhaps not the size, will be created before 2025. Let's dig into the specifics of how the reactor core will work. The fusion reactor will be donut-shaped, otherwise known as a tokamak. Two kinds of hydrogen atoms called deuterium and tritium would be held inside of the donut reactor core. Small pulses of energy are used to kickstart the fusion reaction by removing electrons from their host atoms. This removal of electrons creates an ion plasma that energy can be harvested from. As a fun side note, you can actually create a plasma in your microwave with a grape. Just, just Google it, I'm serious. The hydrogen atoms inside of the tokamak reactor would be heated to temperatures over 150 million degrees Celsius. This plasma is, of course, very reactive to magnetic influence, which is used to keep it away from direct contact with the reactor walls. Magnetic fields are generated by the coils you see around Tony Stark's reactor basically just extreme electromagnets. Keeping the plasma away from the walls of the reactor is key, and being able to sustain any level of thermal insulation from the hot plasma in the otherwise cool outside world. Teams at MIT are working to create a fusion reactor that would be about 21 feet in diameter. Nowhere near the size of Iron Man's reactor, but still a relatively small size compared to other power generation systems currently in use. Here's the thing though, fusion reactors have been around for a while. Scientists have been able to sustain fusion reactions, but the net electricity produced has always been negative. In other words, no fusion reactor has ever produced more energy than it consumes. This is due to the immense energy needed for the superconducting coils used to create the immense stabilizing magnetic fields. Theoretically, a net positive fusion reactor is achievable, and this is the ultimate goal and vision of research teams across the world. If scientists are able to break through and create a working fusion reactor core, it could spell the beginning of one of the cleanest energy sources in human history.